What's going on guys, it's Wes here from Coastal Budget Builds. So today I'm going to give you a walk around of the Datsun again. Uh, a little more in detail, I've done a lot of work since I posted the last video. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I've spent probably 12-13 hours a day for the past three weeks working on this car because I don't know, there's something about this car that I'm so passionate about, it's freaking awesome. So. I'll walk you through it, show you what I did, and uh, answer some of the questions that people had on YouTube and on Facebook. So here we go. Alright guys, so here's the car. It's a 1974 Datsun 260Z and the engine in it is out of a 1981 280ZX. Now the reason I took the 2.8 liter out is because the ZX was rusted right out. So um, I had the 2.4 Four? Yeah, I had the 2.4 in here originally, and it was kind of cool. Um, it didn't really run very well when I got it, but we wanted to put the 2.8 and do something crazy with it. So it's an L28, and it's stock internals. Everything's stock. Um, I don't know if it's the high compression pistons or not. We'll find out if I throw one of the pistons through the hood, <laughs> pretty much. But anyways, that's that. And then... A couple of questions that people had were what carb I was running now. This carb here is an Edelbrock 650. It's off like a small block Chevy or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. It's something on the shelf that my um, girlfriend's dad was nice enough to give to me. Thank you, Larry, if you're watching this video. The um, turbo is an HC1 off a of first generation Cummins. Uh, yeah. Another friend of mine, Billy, thank you very much once again. He's the guy that gave me the turbo. That was awesome. Uh, I want to give a shout out also to Jason from Kenmac because he's the one that hooked me up with the ZX and that's the donor car we got the 2.8 out of. Now the Rad is out of the 2.8, or sorry, the Rad's out of the uh, 280ZX. The engine's out of the 280ZX and the fan the coil, the distributor, that's pretty much it. Distributor and engine, you know, simple stuff. Now, the intake manifold, it's the stock, um, holy god damn it, this is so complicated to explain, there's so much going on here. Okay, so the intake manifolds in here, here, and here, came off the 2.4 liter that was originally in this car when I got it. So the 280 was actually fuel injected, but I took all the fuel injection out because it was a gong show and I didn't want wires and all that crap. So we removed that, put the 2.4 liter carbureted intakes on it, and then I built an attachment that the four barrel bolts to you can see it there I actually built that four barrel intake on the bottom of it there for this carburetor now a, a bunch of other questions people had were how the hell is the turbo on the other side well I made an exhaust manifold that actually routes around the engine it's hard to see oh man I need some more light uh, flashlight where are you ah whatever no flashlight so Anyways, there it is. The pipe goes down, goes underneath the oil pan, goes around, routes out this side, comes up, just fits past the starter. Super tight fit. The starter and the oil filter there. Then I made a, a dump pipe that came up through here for the wastegate. Wastegate, I got it off Craigslist, pretty stoked on that. It's set to 6 pounds of boost right now, so that's perfect as a starting point. I have an electronic boost controller for it that I will be installing. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it so far. Um, the carb hat, I built myself. I built that today. Well, if it's tomorrow and you're still watching this video, whatever, it'll be another day. But yeah, I built that and bolted that on there. It fit nice, it sealed up good. Had to make a little bit of an angle here to clear this pipe. I'll have a breather hose that comes off here to a remote filter 
And then, other than that, the fuel tank was a pain in the ass. We re removed the fuel tank and it was all rusty, so we had to fix that up. And then, removed the stock fuel pump and put this fuel pump here. It's a Carter. I don't know the part number, but I can look it up if you're really interested. Now, another thing people were saying is... Um, with the exhaust manifold routed around the oil pan that I was going to have high oil temperatures which is very possible and I mean this car is completely built experimental I have no idea what it's going to do when we actually start throwing boost through it but it um yeah it routes around and I wrapped it with heat wrap so that we wouldn't have any well we could lessen the heat issues and try and drop the temperature I also put an oil cooler on it Right on the front here, that's routed in through the oil filter down there. There's lines that come around and go up and then out to the oil cooler. Also for the turbo, the oil feed lines come straight off the pressure sensor. I had to put a little T in there so the sensor still worked, but that's all hooked up. And then yeah, pretty much where I'm at now is I have to hook up some vacuum lines, get the wastegate hooked up properly. I, I cut the choke right out of the carburetor, so I had to block those off with those little screws and epoxy because we don't want vacuum leaks. And then routed this fuel rail here. This is off the 2.4 liter. It's just flipped because usually it runs the other way. It runs around the front of the block, but we just flipped it around and modified it a little. Got a little fuel pressure gauge there just for now, just so we can tell what's going on, fuel pressure wise. And then I got a little vacuum gauge here I was just messing around with to see what kind of vacuum we were running. That's not going to be under there once it's all said and done. But yeah, need a couple clamps here and here. Going to throw some boost through it. The exhaust is kind of up in the air like that, but that's just so I don't burn a hole in the firewall. When we first fired it up, it was shooting fireballs out of the carburetor and all kinds of exciting stuff, but uh, yeah, pretty much. I think we got her dialed now, so that's all good. Like I said, I haven't actually forced boost through it yet, so I really, really don't know what it's going to do, but um, I can fire it up quick for you just so you could hear it. It's not sealed right now, so we're not going to get any boost through it, but... I can fire it up here and you can hear what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good actually. That's pretty much it. It runs good. The engine sounds really good. There's no valve noise or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. But I will update you guys with uh, some more videos soon once we get boost actually going through it. I still have to hook a pyrometer up, um, a wide band, and a boost gauge so that we can actually see what's going on because I don't want to run it lean, which <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have that problem with that carburetor because it's freaking massive for this engine so we're over fueling the piss out of it right now which is okay but um yeah just keep on watching and subscribe if you want you don't have to if you don't want to but if you want to stay updated with this crazy experimental project you might as well subscribe so then uh you can get all the latest videos also um on my facebook page i will be posting lots of photos of how i built the carb hat and the intake and the exhaust and everything so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i hope that you guys have a good night or day or wherever you are whatever you're doing keep killing it keep building crazy shit keep on keeping on guys see you later